Hi, I'm Rosie Dayton. Congratulations on your new logger. SE bikes come partially assembled, so we're here to teach you how to get it together. It's always good to have an experienced mechanic build your bike, but if you take your time, you can do it yourself. To build your logger, you'll need items like cable and chain lubricant, grease, pliers, a 15 millimeter wrench, cable cutters or scissors, and metric Allen wrenches from two to six millimeters. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver. Your bike box may be sealed with glue, staples, or both. If you're skiing with staples, safely remove them with pliers and then throw the staples in the trash so they're out of your way. Remove the seat, parts box, and bike from the box. Ask a friend if you need help. Remove the packing material around the bike and use wire cutters or scissors to carefully cut any zip ties. The box your bike came in can be used as a bike stand to help during the build. Simply put the frame and rear wheel back inside the box while keeping the forks on the outside. Now you're ready to get started. Remove the four bolts from the front of the stem using an Allen wrench. Also remove the two pinch bolts on the side of the stem. Place the handlebars onto the stem while making sure that they're facing the correct direction and that the brake cables are routed correctly in front of the handlebars. Make sure that the clamping area of the handlebar is centered in the stem. Add a small dab of grease to the threads on each bolt before reinstalling them. Be sure to add grease to the stem's pinch bolts before reinstalling them too. Evenly tighten the stem bolts with an Allen wrench using a cross pattern to distribute pressure evenly. Now it's time for the seat and post. Take a small dab of grease and wipe it around the inside of the seat tube. Remove the bolt in the seat clamp and add grease to those threads as well. Look at the sides of the seat post for a line indicating its minimum insertion point. Be sure that the post is inserted into the frame to that level or further. Align the seat with the frame's top tube and then tighten the seat clamp using an Allen wrench. Remove the bike from the box. Loosen the axle nuts on the front wheel and insert the axle into the fork dropouts. Tighten the axle nuts evenly on each side of the wheel using a 15 millimeter wrench while making sure that the front wheel stays centered within the forks. Get the pedals out of the parts box. You can identify the left and the right pedals by the L and R on the ends of the pedal spindles. Add a dab of grease to the threads. Attach the pedals using your hand to turn the spindle towards the front of the bike. When you're sure that the threads are seated properly, use a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten each pedal. Take the front brake out of the parts box and remove the rear attachment nut. Slide the brake bolt through the hole in the forks. Reattach the nut by hand and then tighten it with an Allen wrench. Be sure to keep the caliper centered. Slide the brake cable out of the barrel adjuster and add a few drops of quality cable lubricant. Wipe off any excess. Uncoil the front cable. Insert the brake cable through the top of the barrel adjuster on the brake arm and then into the pinch bolt. Have a friend squeeze the brake arms together. At the same time, pull down on the excess brake cable. Then tighten the pinch bolt to lock the cable into place. Pull the brake lever repeatedly to stretch the cable. Use cable cutters to cut off the excess brake cable. Attach the included cable end on the brake cable to prevent the cable from fraying. Attach the included cable clips to the frame's top tube. If needed, have a friend hold the clips in place while you attach the clips using a Phillips screwdriver. If needed, loosen the pinch bolts on the side of the stem to adjust the side-to-side -side angle of the handlebars, and then evenly tighten the pinch bolts once the angle is correct. If the headset feels too tight or too loose, this can be adjusted using the bolts on the stem. 
Loosen the pinch bolts on the side of the stem and then use the compression bolt on the top of the stem to add or release tension. When you find the correct tension, tighten the pinch bolts to secure the stem. Be sure that your front wheel and handlebar stay in alignment during this process. Adjust the angle of the seat and its position on the rails using an Allen wrench on the bolt underneath the seat. Adjust the seat post to a comfortable height and check that the seat clamp is holding it securely in the frame. Check that the bolts in your cranks and sprocket are all tight. Applying grease to these bolts is also recommended. Both tires will need air. The inner tubes feature Presta valves, so be sure to use a compatible pump. Before you add air to the tube, you need to unscrew the knurled nut at the top until it gently comes to a stop. Be careful not to use too much pressure, which can damage the valve. Attach the correct pump to the valve and add pressure. Be sure to follow the tire's PSI guide printed on the side of the tire. Using too much or too little air can damage your tire and rim. Once inflated, thread the knurled nut down until it's closed, then add the valve cap. Go over every nut and bolt on the bike one more time to make sure that they are all secure. For optimal performance, some riders take extra steps during assembly, including tightening spokes and greasing bearings. We'll cover those steps in another video. Now add the included safety items and go ride. <laughs>